Now, imagine being bedridden for years after getting an injury while on duty, getting sacked and fighting for justice for compensation for over 30 years from your employer. Well, this is the story of Isaiah Ochanda, a former military officer who fell and got hurt during the preparations of the All-Africa Games in 1987 at Moy International Sports Center, Kasarani. Ochanda won a case against the state after a 15-year legal battle, but was only paid 12.8 million shillings out of the 22.9 million shillings awarded by the court. It is hard for somebody like me. A voice of pain. Over you having your son, your son, is sad. A cry for justice. It's what defines Isaiah Sochanda's life, a soldier who took an oath to protect his country back in the 1980s, now has his country turn its back on him. For the last 35 years, he has been bedridden, depending on his wife and three children. But it is the fight to get compensation for injuries he sustained while on duty during the preparations for the All Africa Games in 1987 that pains him most. I cannot look for an answer because they have they have refused to pay for me. Simple money to to pay an ass two thousand shillings. I could just walk across everywhere cleaner, I could just just simple like that. But I I I think it is. I was to, to go through this. Ochanda tells us that after sustaining head and spinal cord injuries, which led him to being admitted at Forces Memorial Hospital for two years, he was dismissed from the service on medical grounds. 1994, November uh, 20th, 21st, Nekapata discharge instructions. Let her acquire retire. He instructions in a colesa whether you are returning no normal or mefanya makosa they are they are graded. He expected to get his compensation within a year, but that was not forthcoming. Ili kitu many let and pack a sai on a honor be an atafuta justice. Nekatafuta graduate at a graduate military work and but they only give me money. When I've reached my home area. Through the advice of a lawyer, Ochanda moved to court in 1996, seeking compensation for general and special damages he suffered. For 15 years, while confined to a wheelchair, he fought in court and won the case against the state in 2011. Retired Justice Kalpana Rawal ordered the Ministry of Defense to pay him 22.9 million shillings. He received the first tranche in 2020 when the government wired 4.8 million shillings to him and later in 2021 he was paid 8 million shillings bringing the total amount to 12.8 million shillings. The legs are just straight like this. He cannot sit on any other ordinary car or vehicle because both sides are straight like this. So I needed a piece of therapy to help us, somebody to help us. Ochanda's wife says he needs at least 30,000 shillings a month to buy him medication and other essentials. What is more puzzling to the family is that despite court summons against the holders of the office of the Principal Secretary of Defense in the previous and current regime to appear in court and explain the delay in payment, none has appeared. In the latest orders issued on February 13th, the court has summoned Inspector General of Police to appear in court on April 17th to explain why the orders have not been effected. Defense CS Adenduale is expected to appear before the Senate Committee on National Security and Foreign Relations over the matter later this month. Besides,